Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Friday's card. It is November 1st, the month of October is behind us. We close strong. Uh, we'll get to all of that, plus the free pick for Friday coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. Click on the link below this video. Get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster over at DocSports.com. Simple as that comes with the DocSports.com guarantee. Again, $60 free account. All you got to do to get started, click on the link below this video. Uh, a winner here last night and also a winner with our loan premium pick last night over at DocSports.com. The winner here was the Miami Heat. We cashed also in the NBA with our loan premium pick last night. And uh, NBA now 6-2 and two this season. We're now 50-29. and 29. Our current run in the NBA going back to last year. We finished up 44-27, and 27, now 6-2 and two to start this season. Nice win last night for us. And also, listen, we've told you about how much we like early uh, season play in just about every sport, especially the daily sports. We feel like we're ahead of the game a little bit, and we've proved it with NBA, NHL, 16-9 so far this year, up over 16 units. Uh, college basketball is going to be starting on Tuesday, and there are a mess of games. If you're not ready to go, if you're not prepared, Good luck on Tuesday because there are dozens of games that are going to be played. And in fact, all week long next week, starting on Tuesday, you got college basketball galore. And uh, we are ahead of the game. We're ready to go. We can't wait to get to it. You can receive and get my college basketball packages over at DocSports.com. Go check it out. All the packages laid out for you. Real easy to find college basketball beginning on Tuesday, 99 and 71. That's our current college basketball November run going back several years. You can tell by that. 170 plays and uh, that's you know closing in on 60 percent it's right around 58 percent 99 and 71 again love to get out to fast starts in all those daily sports and again college basketball starting on Tuesday so don't miss out on that but it is still football season and plenty of weeks to go and we've got college football and NFL I've got eight plays five from college football three from the NFL they're all available right now at DocSports.com we posted them yesterday Thursday 6 p.m. Eastern 3 p.m. Pacific I didn't have any Thursday football, uh, so they all still remain. Five college football plays. First time this season I've had both a seven-star and a five-star on the same weekend in college football. They both go on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I've got a six-star play as we swept last week in NFL. And in fact, my free and premium college and pro football picks combined to go to 10-1 and one last weekend over at DocSports.com. So go grab the football right now. They're available as we speak. As far as the NBA, seven-star play going on Friday. It'll be available at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific at DocSports.com. I mentioned we're off to a 75% winning start to the NBA season and that run now going back to last year. We've just continued. We've picked up where we left off, so to speak, 50 and 29 with the last 79 NBA plays and I've got a seven-star play going on Friday's card. Again, available 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. My NHL also available at the same time. we got one play in the NHL for Friday's card. So go grab them. You can grab the NFL and college football right now if you choose as we speak. All right, let's get to the free pick for Friday. We're turning to NBA action. We're going to lay the points. Half a dozen or so right now is where the line sits. San Antonio at Golden State. I know it's a bit of a of an LA sandwich here for San Antonio. They played the Clippers last night. They got the Lakers coming up on November 3rd. Uh, this particular game falls in between against Golden State in the new arena. And uh, here's the thing, man. You know about what's happening with Golden State. We already knew they were going to have a rough time this year, uh, especially relatively speaking, going back to the last several years with the Golden State Warriors being so dominant out west and losing players both to defection and to injury. And then, of course, they go out and Steph Curry gets hurt, breaks his wrist the other day. He could miss the entire rest of the season, potentially. Uh, you've got Clay Thompson, who may not return this season. Kevin Durant's playing on the East Coast. Well, not even playing yet. He's out for probably the entire season. He's no longer on the roster. So just one problem after another for the Golden State Warriors and their roster. We didn't even really get to see if D'Angelo Russell was going to mesh with Steph Curry anytime soon because of that injury to Curry. That obviously leaves them extremely shorthanded. And again, I know San Antonio's in that sandwich. I know they played last night. We've seen years past where Popovich will sit stars, but this isn't necessarily an NBA championship 
championship contending Spurs team. I think they got a good shot to win 50 games this year. Uh, but again, you might see a player or two getting less minutes, but it's not like we're used to seeing in back-to-back -back nights out of Popovich. I would be surprised if they sit uh, more than a player or two here. What I do like about San Antonio is the way they're mixing up their backcourt right now. You're seeing, you know, backcourt players with offensive skills mixed with defensive players to start, and then the bench is strong also. Obviously, when I talk about Patty Mills, you're talking about instant ability to score off the bench, but they've also mixed it up a little bit where they've got defense coming out of the backcourt on the bench because Patty Mills obviously not known for his defensive prowess yet can drain the hoop, obviously. So I like what they're doing with their backcourt. I think it's going to make a big difference in this clash with the shorthanded Golden State Warriors, and I think San Antonio will come through with a double-digit victory, meaning they should cover this spread. So San Antonio minus the points is our free pick for Friday night, and don't forget, we're going to be back here early on Friday, as we always are uh, during football season with our videos. I should have my Friday video up no later than 8 or 9 p.m. Pacific time for Saturday. Gives you plenty of time to catch the video, and if you agree with our free pick to jump on board. So start checking for that around 8 p.m. Pacific time Friday night. It'll be no later than 9 p.m. Pacific by the time we have the video posted. Also wanted to mention UFC is going Saturday. My picks will be posted late Friday night and uh, probably around uh, 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, maybe a little bit after that. Uh, we'll have those UFC picks posted for Saturday. NASCAR will be posted Saturday night, no later than 11 p.m. Pacific time for Sunday's race. And again, football, you can go grab it right now. My entire weekend, eight plays, five from college football, three from the NFL. We look to stay red hot on the gridiron. That's going to do it for us. Again, the free pick for Friday, San Antonio minus the points over Golden State. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Friday in the win column right back here late Friday night with Saturday's report. We'll talk to you then.